विदधाति पूर्वम यो वै वेदाश्च प्रहिणोति तस्मै तमदेवमात्म बुद्धि प्रकाशम मुमुक्षुर्वै शरणमहं प्रपद्ये ओम शांति 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 ओम नमो ब्रह्मादित्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तृभ्यो वं श्रीशिव्यो महर्भ्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सर्वोपलवरिता प्रजान घन प्रत्यगर्थो ब्रह्मस्मी ब्रह्मस्मी वेदाता विभासकाय गुरव शांताय संन्यासिने नानावादी नगेन्द्र संघपवये योगींद्र वंद्याय च मोहद्वान्तिवाकराय भगवत्दिभृते तस्म भाष्यकृते नमोस्त सतत पूर्णाय बोधात्मने वेदो नित्यमधीयता तदुदित कर्म स्वुष्ठीयता विधीयतापचिति काम्ये मतिस्तूयताखे दोषो नुसंधीयता आत्मेच्छा व्यवसीयता निज गृहा पूर्ण विनिर्गम्यता पूर्ण विनिर्गम्यता द डाउट दट सिंस वन हेज गिवन अप स्वर्ग in the sense putra vitta and loka as purusharthas so the person is no longer striving for those goals anymore the doubt was raised that since there is nothing like putra vitta and loka to strive for then will the person be sitting empty and without anything to achieve or anywhere to go that would be an extremely sad condition of a person that he has given up what he could strive for what in what could motivate him in life and now he has nothing to feel motivated about so such a such a condition is is not wanted to which it was told aadmecha vyavasiyata arrive at conclusive decision that atma is what is to be attained atma lok atma is some is that what is how can atma be wanted 
because atma is what i i am already i already am atma that is the meaning i means atma now what is it because something that needs to be achieved attained reached has to be something little different and over here i am already atma then what is atma cha then we are going to tell you that though this you are atma but you have not known that you in 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 reality is brahman sachida ananda vastu hmm? sat means just don't translate it as existence sat means that which cannot be falsified refuted removed denied is sat trikala bathyatvam satvam that which in any frame of time past present or future it cannot be falsified refuted denied negated is sat do you know this that atma is sat this is what is your nature or rather you consider yourself only as something that is born in time and will also be destroyed in time i have a date of birth and i seem to be having a date of departure too so for a person presently though he knows i am but for him the meaning of i is something which is subject to time he does not know he does he cannot see that this i is sat trikala vakyam apadhyam trikala vakyam means trikala trikaleshu abadhyatvam abad that is what i am he does not know and therefore now since you do not know the meaning of atma cha is strive to know so there is something to look forward and therefore the rishravana manana and vidyasana is going to be lead means but nevertheless over here all that one needs to understand is yes i know i am but i do not know the meaning of this i is sat chit means jnanam jnanam means that which illumines please do not consider over here the meaning of word knowledge as just a cognitive process information in our common parlance we use the word knowledge for information i know german language i know sanskrit language i know so that knowledge over here you need i know the political uh, 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 what is this is scenario of the country over here one means to say that i am informed and information is treated as knowledge but on verification we will discover the meaning of word knowledge is way beyond information in fact information is used for knowledge but information by itself is not knowledge we will see this little difference before we proceed and let us not forget the main topic that we are covering that the doubt was atma is not purushartha all other purusharthas because they are fret with dukham 
no matter what, whether it is putra, vitt or log, all other forms of purusharthas are fret with dukkham. They have inherent misery in them. And therefore, now that is not wanted since it is like Vishasamprattamanna. So we have, it is given up and Atma doesn't, is, can, is presently Atma is not seen as Purushartha. And for anything to become worthy of calling as Purushartha, something that should be sought or that is sought by a living person, it should have these two qualities. It should be Sukharupa and it should be it should be uh, free from Dukkham. Sukha Prapti and wherever there is Sukha Prapti and Dukkha Nivritti, wherever there is freedom from misery and attainment of joy, only that can be called as Purushartha something which is sought by a living person. But do you see these two things in Atma presently? I can be the one who is seeking joys and avoiding sorrows, but do you see yourself as that very source where joy is attained and all the dukkhas, the misery is removed? I can see this quality in Putra, Vitta and Loka, in it in having progeny, in, have, in uh, accumulating wealth, or even going to heaven. I can appreciate it. So now the doubt, the basic doubt, the topic that we have, where we have begun, is that Atma is not worthy of calling, it is Purushartha. And Purushartha is not seeking. Purushartha means that which is sought. The process of seeking is called as Purushakar. It's called as Purushakar. Though in common parlance, we use this, that, you know, this person has done a lot of Purushartha, means that he has done a lot of effort. He has strived hard, honestly. And the, we use that account, but technically speaking, the word Purushartha means that what is sought and the process of seeking that strife is called as Purushakara. Let that difference be there. <coughs> because very often when a word is used, we will translate it to our understanding. So, and so now, Atma cannot be called as Purushartha and all other Purusharthas, Putra Vitta Loka are given up and therefore this person seems to be having nothing to look forward. This person is therefore what? Is, 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 is like whatever he had, he has given up and there is nowhere to go. What will be his condition like? Siddha mannam parityajya diksham atati durmatihi. He will be like Siddha mannam parityajya diksham atati durmatihi. This durmati means this, this unintelligent, dull-witted person gives up the delicious steaming hot food which was offered to him and then does what? Goes for seeking food, asking, begging in the village. Will that be the condition? This is where we began. And therefore now, what will we have to prove is, though he has given up every form of anatma as Purushartha, what has he done? He does not see a putra vitta loka, which is anatma, as purushartha. Yet he has also not appreciated the fact that this atma can become purushartha. 
okay and therefore what will we have to do at this point is to show that there is purushartha in the uh, purushartha in atma there is the atma can also be called as purushartha If Atma can be called as Purushartha, which means we will have to say that this Atma is in the form Sukha Swarupa Atma, there is Dukkha Nivritti. So there is Sukha Prapti and Dukkha Nivritti in Atma. Therefore, this Atma is Purushartha Rupa. So we, can, we, have, we have to prove that first. Then the second objection which is going to come is that not only if it is other than you. Something can be sought only if it is other than you. How can you seek yourself? And therefore, now there are these two issues in front of us before we proceed. Okay, so, so let us look at that topic. We are saying that this Atma is Purushartha because this Atma will have Sukha Prapti and Dukkha Nibhrati there. How, sir? So we are saying the nature of Atma is Satchidananda. What is the nature of Atma? Satchidananda. In the word Satchidananda, it is a it is a compound of three words sat chit and ananda put together it will become satchidananda okay the th of sat becomes ch there is a grammar over there so it will be satchidananda Okay, that is the Sutra. But anyway, so now Atma is Sat meaning, Sat meaning, just don't translate it as existence. Trikala Bhadhyam. That which cannot be refuted, negated, falsified in the three periods of time is called as Sat. Do you, do you see yourself, Atma, as Sat or you see yourself as subject to time? being born in time and will be decayed in time. And therefore, one does not, though one sees, knows he is Atma, but does not know he is Sat. And therefore, there is all the time this strife to escape the time. I want to stay younger. What do you mean by that? I want to keep myself healthy. What do you mean by that? Physically fit. And that's why I'm doing yoga. Yoga is done. A physical fitness through yoga is a fringe benefit. Yoga is meant so that <laughs> is practice so that one can prepare himself for Samadhi. Asana Pranayama is practiced so that one can step into Samadhi. But now yoga or the practice Asana Pranayama has been reduced to what? For, for maintaining figure and for maintaining health and to, to, for back problems and spine and all those things. These are fringe benefits. So the person may 
get the fringe benefits, but he will miss the the what ah uh, the main benefit, the principal benefit. He will he will. It is like buying an expensive chocolate only for the wrapper. Yeah, very expensive thing only for the. So this fellow, or if not that, understand that this fellow likes the box, the the box in which the uh, uh, jeweler packs the 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 the, the, uh, the gold ornament. So he buys the gold ornament because he wants that plastic box. Hey, it would be something like that. So now. One strives all the time to escape the grip of time. Why would you do this? Now look at all that you are doing, even when this young boy and girl, they are talking to each other in the garden. And she says, will you love me always? And this fellow also says, till the end of time. Huh? all the time always which means that one wants something that is not in the in in the frame of time which can transcend the time so my question is that you want to be rich till what time till when do you want to be rich next monday till you are 79 and then in, on your 80th birthday, you you are you are okay to become to be a beggar? No, 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 Swami, you don't. I shall always rich, always healthy, always love. Now, whatever that one is, one is seeking basically to be free from the free from the grasp grip of the time why because he does not know that whatever he is is already beyond time not in the clutches of time because he does not know that he is sadvastu chit means jnanam knowledge Knowledge means illumination. The word knowledge would mean illumination, just illumination. You say that information is knowledge because whatever that information now you have helps you illumine the, the object. Let us consider this as a very uh, not a very complicated example we will take so that it becomes easy when you say i know what is a pot a clay pot i know what is a pot so which means that i have i have the information that this object is a clay pot what has this information done is that it has helped you to to illumine the object the object becomes illumined and that is the reason why you are treating even information as knowledge knowledge means illumination prakash What knowledge are you talking about? That knowledge which illumines even the sun and moon, fire and lightning, everything. <coughs> Every source of light, whether it is sun or moon, stars or electricity, everything is illumined by that light and this light is such that it illumines even the darkness 
it illumines even the darkness i know it is dark so this is this knowledge atma is of the nature of knowledge consciousness awareness call it whatever so now we are we are not saying that it is only a knowledge means jnanam means a cognitive process cognitive process is also called as knowledge cognitive process is called as knowledge because the light of the self reflected in every thought illumines the object and because of that reflected light now even this cognitive process is also called as knowledge the moon does, does is not an independent source of light like the sun but you can see the objects even in moonlight correct even moon also gives light but the light of the moon is is reflected light like that the self which is the source swayam prakash vastu self illumines that illumination of the self reflected in the mind now falls on the objects and this is how the world of names and forms is known therefore even every cognitive process in turn is also called as knowledge only because of that borrowed light but that light which is knowledge truly belongs to the self jnana rupa bodh rupa is this art do you know this is how it is you are seeking knowledge but every knowledge every cognitive process is also illumined only by the self do you know this is what is the nature of the self and the third thing is is ananda rupa ananta rupa that which is limited is dukkha rupa that what is parichinnam that which what is incomplete that what is small limited bound whether bound by time space objects attributes whatever is for which, whichever condition it may be that will bring limitation to the uh, to anything now that will become that limited ness is is to come yad vai alpam tad to come that what is alpam alpam means limited small inadequate so even when you say that you know why are you unhappy uh, you know i don't have money i don't have money means i don't have money to buy a new car what do you mean by i don't have money for which you are unhappy i have i don't have adequate sufficient so inadequacy incompleteness limitedness is to come you know my husband or my wife they he, he or she loves me very much but not enough this feeling of not being enough not enough is dukkha and therefore what is this atma is anantam and therefore anandam do you know this is how this atma is that this atma is such a than anand anand i do not know sir i feel that i am subject to time and i am constantly trying to escape 
from the fist of time. I do not know that I am knowledge itself and therefore I am constantly seeking something to experience, something to know. You cannot have an experience without knowing. Experience basically is knowledge. So therefore those who are saying that you don't need knowledge, you need experience, either they have not really understood what they are saying or they are fooling themselves and fooling others. Experience is knowledge. You cannot have an experience without knowing. When, when something is experienced without knowing, it cannot be even called as experience. You may be very well in a situation, but you are lost in thoughts. And a friend happens to pass in front of you. He walks past by you. He waves his hand, but you are lost in thought. That's why you, you do not see him. Next time he meets when he says, Hey, the other day I saw you sitting in the coffee shop. And I waved out at you as I was walking past the shop. But you just look through me as if I'm a stranger. What's wrong? And this person says, now, I didn't know. I didn't see you. I didn't experience you. Which means what? I did not know. I didn't know, I did not experience. Knowledge and experience, this bifurcation is, is, is a, unfortunately, you know, it seems to be prevalent, not only in the common parlance with people, but even a lot of teachers also just do it because they have, one has not really seen. Knowledge, I seek knowledge, I want to experience, when you say I want to experience this new flavor of ice cream, means I want to. I want to. <laughs> Intelligence is also a cognitive process. How can it be different? Well then, because I do not know that I am Ananda Roop, I am seeking Sukham. I am trying to hunt joys those small from here and there with an expectation that I will make a huge collection which will be infinite come one day. Sir, you are seeking all this because you do not know whatever you are seeking is yourself. And therefore, Atma is Purushartha Rupa now. So the first objection which was raised is answered. Atma is Purushartha Rupa. Therefore, there, won't, there is nothing to disappoint yourself that I have given up all the anatma pursuit and now do you know what, what is there to seek and therefore I am here just sitting useless and everything. No, Atma is Purushartha Rupa. But how can this Atma be sought? Because it is already reached. The thing is that you do not know. Not knowing 
and therefore now seeking would mean seeking to know. Therefore, Atma Icha is now Atma Jnana Icha. What is that? Atma Icha. Atma, Atma Icha means desire for the self. But self cannot be desired. Now turns into add a word in between. Desire to know Atma. But this is not true. I know I am. Hey, you know you are, but you do not know you are Brahman. This is there. And therefore, now nothing new is sought. All that is there is, is now only the whole process is, is process of eradication of ignorance is only eradicating ignorance. Ajnana Nivritti is there. In Ajnana Nivritti, Dukkha Nivritti, Sukha Prapti, everything is, 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 is there. And therefore Atma is Purusha And this Atma is Atma Chha will mean Atma Janecha, desire for, for, for knowing the self. Therefore, Athato Brahma Jijnasa, the very first Brahma Sutra. Jijnasa means desire to know. Jnato Micha Jijnasa, desire to know over here is valid. Ah, but how have you reached this point? Having walked all the all the six stations, one has matured himself and come to this point. Whether you are able to cover this distance in one life or ten thousand lives does not matter. We'll have to come to this point. That's it. Atme chavyamasiyatam. Then after this is this this will come as quite a, a, you know people will have oh no so easy but you know this one can become enlightened even at staying at home that is true but here we have to understand few things. Atme chavyavasiyatam nijagrihat turnam fidhirgamyatam nijagrihat nija means swasya one's own so, so it was said na grihat so I walked out of my neighbor's house no grihat turnam turnam means turan in Hindi, it has come from this Sanskrit word, Turnam. Turnam. Immediately. Do not postpone, do not delay. Once when this Vairagyam is sthira, when the Vairagya is stable, not fluctuating. Fluctuating Vairagyam is, is not good for sannyas. Sannyas can be there only when Vairagyam is stable. So knowledge has yet not taken place and in order for knowledge to take Is he takes to Ingram in school. Why, sir? And that is what we have seen in Jivan Mukti Viveka. When 
the topic of Vividisha Sanyasa was there. What is Vividisha? Huh? Vivid Disha, not Vivid Disha. Vivid Disha means Veditum Icha. Again, it is Jinyasa only, but a different word, a different grammatical formation. Veditum Icha. What is Vivid Disha? Veditum Icha. And what is Jinyasa? Jyatum Icha. Okay. So Veditum Icha is higher as of knowing. Now that knowing means knowing art, Brahman. Okay. Veditum Icha. And then he takes to sannyas because he wants nothing else. When nothing else is wanted, naturally the Kamya Karmas are given up. Vairagyam is stable, which means Antakarana is Shuddha. Okay? Shuddha means it is now purified. Trishta Anushravika Vishaya Vitrishnasya Vashikara Samshya Vairagyam Vashikara Samshya Vairagyam This Vairagyam is called as Vashikara Vairagyam Vairagyam you understand as presently if you are scared of the word Vairagyam just call it maturity because Vairagya means natural is a person who oh, we have to snare some, uh, you know, the small the body of ashes and then go. Wait, wait, wait. Vairagya means maturity. When a person overcomes the, the psychology that this world, somewhere or the other, is my source of happiness, that is maturity. When do you say the child has grown up? Just chronologically, the person may grow, but if that boy or girl keeps to his toys, uh, oh no, no, my doll talks to me every day, and she's my best friend. I will not give up this doll. Now, as long as the person is, then you say that is, is still infancy not mature. So when he can give up those dolls, tops and kites and things like that, then he may shift it to another thing. But he has given up the idea that they are, these, are, these toys are the source of my happiness. Then you say he has matured, he has grown up. Like that, when a person is able to give up the idea, this entire range of all anātmupadārta is not the source of sukham, that is the pinnacle of maturity. And as long as the idea of happiness is invested in objects outside, till then the person will feel justified to blame the world for its his miseries. Why? What is a terrorist doing? What is a terrorist doing? Why is he killing and hurting people? Because he feels that the world has done some sort of injustice to him. He is angry at the world. Because this world was supposed to give me happiness, but this world has not given me happiness, so I am angry and I am going to punish. 
so he is angry at the world why because he says that the world was was supposed to give me happiness it did not so when a person is able to give up this idea or he he grows out of that idea then that is called as vairagya that is why i am calling it maturity and how is it drishta anushravika vishaya vitrishna it is that vitrishna vitrishna means overcoming the longing drishna is thirst just as whenever a person feels thirsty now he becomes restless becomes restless with and vitrishna means now that restlessness is gone what was the restlessness for for drishta or anushravika vastu objects drishta means which are seen experienced in this world and anushravika means that which are of which only the vedas that heaven is like this so and so it is nice this which is only heard from the scriptures now he does not want anything putra vitta rog and when this is stable which means now the person having gone through various experiences has arrived at this maturity when this maturity comes now the life as a grihastha or your interactions with the world has given you or has repaired you whenever there was any defect now is fine and now with that with that pure antakarana antakarana shuddhi there is desire to know the self as brahman so now the mind is free from restlessness and has settled on the idea that i now only atma uh, is what i want to know. whatever you were in this world for the the function of purifying you the world has done now what next and therefore do you need to stay over there so nijagraha purnam vinirgamyata it is it has done so whenever the work is done you give up the tool you don't keep the tool so when you you want to fix a screw somewhere in the uh, somewhere now you use the screw driver and then when that that the the screw the nail is tight enough you don't keep the screw driver in the hand all the time here comes you you keep it in the drawer gone nisha grip so like that now it was accepted the world is accepted in order to overcome all this and a person who does not want vairagya for him the world becomes the means to achieve putra vitta loka hey you don't want putra vitta loka you wanted antakarna shuddhi that antakarna shuddhi is also already there with you now what is the point and therefore giving up and therefore now hey in order so that in, so, so that you can pursue the path of knowledge there is sanyasa which is now therefore called as vividisha sanyasa sanyasa which is taken in order so that one can know for the sake of knowledge that sanyasa which is taken for the sake of knowledge is vividisha sanyasa and that is what is reflected over here in the eighth instruction of the first stanza nijagraha purnam vinirgamyata 
होंगे निजम मीन्स स्वकीय निजम मीन्स स्वकीय वंस ओन दैट ऑन विच वन कैन ले हिज क्लेम निजम दिस इज माइ सो द पर्सन नाउ ऑफिशियली declares nothing belongs to me really speaking nothing belongs to anyone but on a transactional basis you can say it belongs to me just as when you are traveling in a train the seat is the property of indian railways it is not your your property your father's property so then though it is it is the property of indian railway when you go you tell the person sir this is my seat why why is that your seat it is that person says how oh, your seat is belong to indian railways for transaction and the transaction is of traveling now the indian railways has given you her that that you know your ownership for the transaction purpose and therefore it is a transactional thing so now though nothing really belongs to me yet for the sake of transactions one claims this is my house this is my children this is my wealth my property that is fine now even that is also given up because nijagraha whatever is swakiyam that home represents everything that you own nijagraha griham veshma home tasmat vinirgamyata visheshena nirgamanam cha sarvada asakti rahityam iti bodhavyam now vinirgamyata nirgamyata was okay but there is a prefix of of what v to nirgamyata and eh? there is a prefix of v to nirgamyata that v has a meaning and that v means visheshana specifically v nirgamyata that specificness is what sarvada asakti rahitam that the person is always free from attachment because the person may give up the home etc but he will have his claim you know i was a very rich man i have come from a good family now what do you want to prove it is already given up and that what is given up nobody turns back and looks at it how nice it was you have given it up because you had found that it was useless and not nice just as when you go and put all the garbage in the dumpster you don't turn back to that garbage bin how, how nice my garbage was you don't praise how nice my garbage was it is in the dumpster gone you given it up because it was it was something for giving up sarvada asakti rahitam sarvada means always asakti is attachment rahitam means rahityam over here is free from it given up not there always therefore having then taken to the sanyas etc no claims of how great you were in your earlier uh, you know life or anything or even this idea you may not praise yourself to others but sometimes this may get into the head you know it was so nice how you know no given that is nijagraha purnam vinirgamyata sir but why why nirgamyata आत्म विषय विचारो गृहा 
Gruhasaktimataha Samhavati. The one who is extremely attached for him, this vichar, this pursuit of knowledge, the contemplation becomes difficult. Becomes almost next to impossible. So, na samhavati. Grihinaha, why sir? Because he has several duties to do towards his wife, his children, neighbors or relatives or several other friends and things like that. He has several several things to do. Vyakula chittataya etad vishayaka vichara asambhava now where? Now where? Because his mind is already very, very preoccupied. Now, therefore, where does he have the space, the necessary peace to do the contemplation? This is the reason why sannyasi is taken. Sannyasi is not taken so that you know how one can one can open up Agarbati factory. Spiritual Adhyatmic Bhagavad Gita Agarbati. Sanyasa has a different purpose. Nijagrihad, the whole purpose is giving oneself completely, totally only to Atma Vichara. And as long as one is not prepared, till then, prepare oneself, yourself. Then comes Nichagriha Purim Vinayana. Doing things in haste, Vidyarani Swami, you have heard say that Sannyasa is possible only in two conditions, Tivra Vairagya and Tivra Tara Vairagya. When the Vairagya is intense or very intense. Not when it is lukewarm. Manda Vairagya, there is no Sannyasa. Is there. So therefore now, Nijagriha, what should he do next is going to come. Let us see that when we meet tomorrow. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnaha Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayana Sutra Vashikata Vande Vakamanta Punafunaha Ishwaro Guru Atme Deem Diveda Vipagine Vyoma Vadya Tadeha Yatakshika Murtaye Namaha Thank you all. Thank you.